from a robot designed to navigate disaster zones. To Toyota making more than just cars. These are the craziest AI robots Japan is developing right now. Jizai Arms. Scientists and engineers at the University of Tokyo in Japan have created Jizai Arms, a set of interchangeable six robotic arms that can be worn like a backpack. Imagine being able to multitask like never before with the ability to control six robotic arms that are attached to your back. That is amazing. Jizai is a Japanese word that means autonomy and the right to do as one pleases. The robotic arms have designated ports, which are spread out across various levels. This keeps the arms from clinging to each other while the movement is being performed. Because the hands are removable, different grips can be used in their place. Two methods are available for controlling the robots, either through PC software or the controller, which resembles a smaller version of the main unit with arms attached. An operator or the user can control the robots. Jizai arms weighs a lot at the same time. Four kilograms when carrying just one backpack, and 14 kilograms when carrying four arms. Currently, control issues exist because it can be hard to control multiple arms at once through the robotic backpack because of its complexity. It takes the cooperation of several operators to operate the device, and using it alone is not possible. It's a significant issue that has to be resolved, but as neural interfaces advance, people might eventually be able to manipulate robot arms with their minds just like they would their own. Kaleido. Kaleido is a humanoid robot designed for dangerous areas such as collapsed structures and natural disasters. The corporation is hoping that the robot will help Japan, which is frequently the victim of typhoons and earthquakes. It is assumed that the robot can operate in space and the ocean in the future, although development is still ongoing. In an emergency, the powerful arms of Kaleido can lift both people and large, heavy objects. Its height of 178 centimeters and weight of 85 kilograms makes it almost the same size as an adult male. Its power is comparable, if not greater than, that of the average human, as shown by its capacity to bench press between 50 and 60 kilograms. Motors on 32 axes power and regulate the movements of the robot. With the help of its vision sensors, which function as a camera system in place of a human eye, Kaleido the robot can search for particular objects and complete tasks. It can move toward a target object or pick up a plastic bottle that is in front of it, for instance. It is durable and simple to fix. Vex. Would you ever want to ride a robot goat? When you think of a robot, what comes to mind? I bet it is not a goat, but for Kawasaki's robotics division, a goat is exactly what they have in mind. At the 2022 International Robot Exhibition, Vex was introduced by Kawasaki engineers. VX is a robotic goat designed by Kawasaki for situations where speed is important. It can transform into an electric scooter and accommodate big loads or people on level ground. On smooth surfaces, Vex can move more quickly thanks to a set of wheels on its knees than the glacial pace at which it plods while walking. The robot could move swiftly on level ground and navigate difficult terrain. Vex, named for the Ibex, a goat native to the Middle East, has a cargo capacity of about 220 pounds. The robot is incredibly adaptable. Kawasaki envisions it performing remote industrial site inspections, in addition to moving building supplies and other items. Nexage was created by the Japanese company Kada Robotics. Its primary function is to carry out repetitive tasks. The robot has specialized tools, can work with humans and other machines, and is intended for repetitive jobs on production lines. With a 130 kilograms base and a 29 kilograms torso, the robot's height can be adjusted to 170 centimeters. It is capable of lifting up to three kilograms of objects. The robot can be operated with a tablet running specialized software tailored to its intended purpose. It is specifically made to operate in factories and other production lines. Erika. As one might expect, roboticist Hiroshi Ishiguro of Osaka University in Japan has created several robots over the years, but his most well-known creation is an incredibly lifelike android robot that he developed recently. Ishiguro's characters resemble everyday people. One is Erika, a humanoid robot 
powered by an electronic brain system found in a synthetic organism. Erica is a sophisticated artificial intelligence creation made to look and behave like a human. The term Noid refers to a female humanoid robot, and Erica is one of them. Despite having realistic features like eyes and ears and the ability to converse, Erica still has a somewhat wooden appearance when compared to a live human. It is capable of having discussions and debates on a range of subjects, as well as conversing, answering queries, and giving information. Her capacity to maintain eye contact, use suitable gestures, and display organic body language all contribute to her capacity to build deep relationships with people. Her advanced natural language processing skills enable her to comprehend and react to written and spoken language in a human-like way. Through interactions, Eruka's AI algorithms allow her to learn and adapt, enhancing her skills and knowledge base over time. We now wonder if Erica will surpass human limits in the field of robotics, as it has become a significant milestone. In my opinion, this has the potential to trigger a machine uprising. Jinki, a robotic startup called Jinki Itai, with headquarters in Japan, gained huge attention for its unusual heavy machinery, a remotely controlled industrial robot resembling a human. The construction robot, which resembles a massive transformer and is capable of assembling buildings, repairing power lines, and replacing road signs, has been unveiled by the company. Through the use of a VR headset, a human operator can remotely control the robot. The robot can replace teams of human workers and thereby lower the risk of serious work-related accidents. It is designed to perform technical maintenance work in a variety of fields, such as road sign replacement and repairs and railway line repairs. It can even lift and move heavy objects like steel pipes, plates, or wires with equal ease. Additionally, Jinky's humanoid robot is capable of copying human movements within the heavy machinery's cockpit. Cedar 7. THK has developed the Cedar 7 robot, an exoskeleton operator that can accurately copy human movements. It can be operated remotely, helps detect quality problems in different tech products, and verifies cleaning outcomes. Future upgrades are planned so that it is capable of making decisions on its own. The robot will be able to combine machine strength, endurance, and precision with human intelligence, instinct, and judgment. It is set to completely change the way work is done by increasing operator strength without limiting the range of motion, which will increase output and highly lower injury rates. Spot Welding Robots The Nachi Fujikoshi Spot welding robots continue to maintain their leadership position thanks to their remarkable speed and inventive production capabilities. The robot's high rigidity design guarantees maximum speed, low vibration, and high acceleration. Nachi Robotics enhanced motion control, arm rigidity, vibration suppression, and acceleration performance result in a 30% reduction in spot welding times compared to earlier models. All of this results in high higher efficiency and productivity. THR3 Toyota returns to humanoid robots. The THR3 is a third generation humanoid robot that the company has announced. It is 75 kilograms in weight, 1.5 meters tall, and has two 10-fingered hands. In addition to 32 degrees of torque-controlled freedom, the robot looks very strong at first, with good balance and coordination, but it is controlled by a human operator with the help of a virtual reality headset gloves, and a complex, immersive, master maneuvering system. Currently, the robot functions as a test platform with the potential to safely support people in a range of environments, including homes, hospitals, building sites, disaster-affected areas, and even space. Which robot would you want to try out first? Let us know in the comments now, and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this.